Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to construct the phylogenetic trees. Construction of the phylogenetic tree is one of the very important steps in a regular bioinformatic analysis. There are many different applications of these phylogenetic trees. One of the very important applications of the phylogenetic tree is to identify the unknown bacteria. Let's assume for a moment that we have cultured a one bacteria in our lab and from the morphological perspectives we are not going to identify it. What we did, we extracted its DNA and we have sequenced its 16S ribosomal RNA. Now by using that 16S ribosomal RNA, we want to identify it. To identify the bacteria based on that 16S ribosomal RNA, we are going to construct the phylogenetic tree. So let's see that how that phylogenetic tree will be constructed. The first step to construct the phylogenetic tree is to search the homologous sequences for our 16S ribosomal RNA. So we will copy our sequence and we will go to the BLAST N. Here in this BLAST N, we will paste our sequence in the search box and then below here in a database section, we will click on the RNA ITS database. This time, our sequences will be searched in a 16S ribosomal RNA database and the ITS database. The 16S ribosomal RNA database belongs to the bacteria while the ITS database belongs to the fungi. After selecting this one, we will simply click on this blast button keeping the default values. The search will begin and after the few moments you will have your search results. This is our result page. Here on this result page you can see that there are the many different homologs related to our query protein sequence present in the ribosomal RNA database. Let's assume for a moment that these six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. These seven sequences are the homologs to our query protein sequence. And the rest of the others are the false positive. Let's assume for a moment. We will select them like we have selected here. And we will go at the top. To this download drop we will click on this drop down download button and then we will click on this FASTA completed sequences when we will click on this one so then the sequences will be downloaded in the FASTA format in your system normally these sequences will be opened in a in the notepad format here these are the seven sequences which are homologs to your query protein query DNA sequence. I'm sorry for the mistake. Now, in this file, we will also paste our sequence in a faster format. So this is uncultured is our protein uh, our RNA sequence. Now we will copy all of these seven sequences along with our query protein sequence and we will move to the phylogeny.fr server. This is phylogeny.fr server. This server provides you the multiple options to construct the phylogenetic tree. But here we are going to use the one click option. The one click option is an easiest way to construct the phylogenetic tree with the, uh, just one click. So we will click on this one click option and then we will be on this page. Here on this page, we will copy and the paste our all sequences. We will provide the job name. Let's assume that phylogenetic tree. Then at the bottom, we will click on this use G block program to eliminate poorly aligned positions and the divergent regions. This is very important. And why this is important? We will talk about it later. 
below here you can provide your email address so that when the job will be done so the email will be sent to you maybe this job may take time after doing all of that stuff you will simply click on the submit button as you will click on the submit button the phylogenetic tree construction will begin in the regular lectures we have discussed it that there are the five steps to construct the phylogenetic tree the first step is a selection of the temp uh, selection of the homologs the second step is an alignment the third step is an application of a substitution model the fourth step is uh, application of the algorithms to build the phylogenetic tree like the neighborhood joining method and the maximum likelihood method and the last one is a bootstrapping to validate the phylogenetic tree with this one click we will have all of these five steps automatically so you don't need to be worried about it right now we have our phylogenetic tree you can see it here let's make it a bigger by using this image size options so right now i'm using a 150 percent image size and this image will be updated now also this image will be now visible to you right now you can see it here that this is our uncultured 16s ribosomal rna sequence and this uncultured 16s ribosomal rna sequence is a closest relative of nr underscore 113599.1 pseudomonas aeruginosa strain which is nbrc underscore 12689 while the other pseudomonas aeruginosa strains are present at the distance this phylogenetic tree is telling us that our uncultured bacteria is a closest relative of the pseudomonas aeruginosa family and among that family members our bacteria is a closest relative of this bacteria which is the pseudomonas aeruginosa strain and brc there are the two different type of the phylogenetic trees the one are known as the cladogram another one is known as the phylogram can you let us know in the comment section below that what type of the tree you are looking at here is it a cladogram or is it a phylogram the phylogeny.fr server is going to provide you multiple other options to reset your phylogenetic tree and to make up your phylogenetic tree what type of the color you want to give it to or uh, what type of the names you want to give to your phylogenetic tree and etc and etc you can also download that phylogenetic tree in the png format in the pdf format and some other formats i hope so that this tutorial will be helpful for you to construct the phylogenetic tree